Good morning. I'd like to speak to you about the chaining of events that lead up to the catching away for us being caught up, those who are sealed in Jesus Christ, for the harpaz of the rapture of the church. The Lord gave me a very profound rapture dream, which again, for those who subscribe to this channel for any length of time, know that that is what actually led me to create this channel. It was so profound, so life altering and life changing that I had to share this experience and everything else since then with the world. When that event took place, there's many things the Lord was showing me. It came out of the blue. I did not provoke the dream at all. The Lord showed me about what will take place. There are key things that I want to share with you about this dream. Now, I've shared this dream on many occasions, and I, I ask that you go back through my videos because I have noticed that if things are just handed to people that because it has no value, because there's no investment, that they're, they have no, again, they have no value. When you actually dig and search and look, they become like a precious jewel. They become as refined gold, especially when you search through the word. In this event, in this prophetic rapture revelation dream, one of the things the Lord showed me was it will be a normal day. The rapture is before the tribulation. Before the tribulation is a pre-tribulation rapture. And as I was <clears throat> witnessing everything taking place, that was the first thing he showed me. It's going to be a normal day, unsuspecting. There was no chaos, even though we are living in chaos. It was relatively normal, just as you see right before me, calm and without distress, if you know what I mean. And then the event took place, the great shaking, the trumpet blast, in time stopping. In that event, one of the things that took place was a massive hole being formed by a very large tree, an oak tree, which could symbolize, which could symbolize the U.S. falling. Because when that tree was uprooted and cast aside at this event, there was a huge hole, a massive hole that was left behind. And one thing I did know that something sinister, something evil was to come out of that hole, I do know. And we all know that at the fourth seal, hell and death are released upon the earth. And Jesus Christ is the one opening the seals. And Jesus Christ is the one that holds the keys of hell and death. It was a normal day. There was a great falling and a massive opening into the abyss. At that moment when that trumpet sounded, I was lifted into the air. Another thing that the Lord showed me is that young children will be taken at that time. As I was lifting into the, being lifted into the sky, I, I was looking out and seeing how few actually entered in. So few, very few. When I reached the Grand Hall and we stood before in line before the angelic beings, checking our name off of a list or putting our name on a list. One of the things the Lord showed me is, your name must be wrote in the book of life or you will not go in the rapture. So few people went. If your name is not wrote in the book of life, you will not go in the rapture. However, during the tribulation, after the rapture, while we are in heaven at the marriage supper of the land, many will give their life to Christ. 
the greatest revival in all of human history will take place during the tribulation, and those will be the tribulation saints. There are many other things I will share. I just wanted to put this out there. That Jesus Christ is opening the seals. He has the keys of hell and death. And they will be unlocked and released upon the earth because they will do his bidding. He is not doing it, but he is allowing it to happen. Stand fast, my friends. We are almost home. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Bye-bye.